In this video, we're going to talk about food cholesterol. So, what exactly is cholesterol? Cholesterol is a waxy substance which is made in the body by the liver, but it's also found in some food that we eat on our daily lives. This soft waxy substance is not only found in your bloodstream, but also in every cell in your body, where it helps to produce cell membranes, hormones, vitamin D, and bile acids that help you digest fat. However, having too much cholesterol in the blood can increase your risk of getting heart and circulatory diseases. But where does cholesterol come from? Cholesterol comes from your body, as well as from what you eat. Now there is about 75% of cholesterol that's made by your body, and the amount is determined by your family history. So, the remaining 25% of cholesterol comes from what you eat. The cholesterol level in your blood will increase if you eat food with saturated fats and trans fat. There are two main types of blood cholesterol. One is low-density lipoprotein, and two is high-density lipoprotein. Low-density lipoprotein, also known as the bad cholesterol, because it develops plaque which will clog the arteries and make them less flexible. It collects in the walls of your blood vessels, where it can cause blockages. Higher LDL levels put you at greater risk for a heart attack or stroke due to the narrowed artery when the clot is formed. This condition is called atherosclerosis. High-density lipoprotein, also known as good cholesterol, helps to discard the bad cholesterol away from the arteries and back to the liver to break it down and pass the cholesterol from the body. In other words, HDL reduces, reuses, and recycles LDL cholesterol by transporting it to the liver where it can be reprocessed. So, you will be protected from heart attacks and strokes when you have a healthy level of HDL cholesterol. Remember, you're not alone. About 100 million other Americans have high cholesterol. High cholesterol comes from a variety of sources, including your family history and what you eat. Here is a visual journey through the most common causes. Some of the most common causes of high blood cholesterol include your diet, your activity level, your age and gender, genetics, and cigarette smoking. A diet high in cholesterol, saturated fats, and trans fats can raise blood cholesterol levels and put you at risk for heart disease. You will find this unhealthy fat in food that comes from animals, beef, pork, milk. Butter, veal, milk, cheese, and eggs contain saturated fat. Packaged food that contains palm oil, coconut oil, or cocoa butter may have a lot of saturated fat. You will also find saturated fat in sticks of margarine, vegetable shortening, and most cookies, crackers, chips, and other snacks. Your activity level. If your cholesterol numbers aren't where they should be, Working out should be a key part of your Get Healthy strategy. By increasing your activity level, it will help you to lose or maintain your weight. Being overweight tends to increase the amount of low-density lipoprotein in your blood, the kind of lipoprotein that's been linked to heart disease. Whether you're a male or female, as you get older, your risk for heart disease increases dramatically. For instance, a 62-year-old man is 500 times more likely than a 22-year-old man to die from heart disease in the next year. In men, cholesterol levels generally level off after the age of 50. In women, cholesterol levels stay fairly low until menopause, after which they rise to about the same level as men. Your family history may also affect your cholesterol level. High cholesterol may run in your family. If family members have or had high cholesterol, you may also have it. There are over 100 genes that can affect blood fats and how these are metabolized in the body. Sometimes just one faulty gene is enough to increase your cholesterol to dangerous levels, and sometimes high cholesterol results from the small effects of many genes. Some people will have high cholesterol even if they follow a healthy, balanced diet low in saturated fats and trans fat. These people may need to take cholesterol-lowering medicine as prescribed by their doctor. Cigarette smoking lowers your level of HDL, or good cholesterol. It also injures the lining of the blood vessels and increases the risk of developing blood clots, which contributes to, ath which contributes to atherosclerosis 
or the hardening of the arteries. It damages the walls of your blood vessels, making them more likely to accumulate fatty deposits. Even inhaling secondhand cigarette smoke has been shown to lower HDL cholesterol. And now the top five tactics to improve your cholesterol level. Lifestyle changes can help reduce cholesterol, keep you off cholesterol-lowering medications, or enhance the effect or enhance the effect of your medications. Here are five lifestyle changes to get you started. One, eat heart-healthy food. Two, increase your physical activity. Three, lose weight. Four, drink alcohol only in moderation. Five, quit smoking. Even if you have years of unhealthy eating under your belt, making a few changes in your diet can reduce cholesterol and improve your heart health. Therefore, replace foods that are high in saturated fat with healthier options that can lower blood cholesterol levels and improve lipid profiles. Exercise can improve cholesterol. Moderate physical activity can help raise high-density lipoprotein, or HDL cholesterol, the good cholesterol. The best plan for reducing your risk of cardiovascular disease is a combination of aerobic, or cardio, and resistance training. Spend an average of 40 minutes of moderate to vigorous intensity aerobic activity three to four times a week to improve cholesterol levels as well as lower your blood pressure and risk for stroke and heart attack. For overall cardiovascular health, spend at least 150 minutes of moderate exercise or 75 minutes of vigorous exercise per week. You can mix up moderate and vigorous activity if you'd like. To stay motivated, find an exercise buddy or join an exercise group. And remember, any activity is helpful. Even taking the stairs instead of the elevator or doing a few sit-ups while watching television can make a difference. Examples of moderate intensity exercise include ballroom dancing, playing tennis, general gardening, or bicycling. Examples of vigorous intensity exercise include hiking uphill or with a heavy backpack, swimming laps, jogging, race walking or running, aerobic dancing, or bicycling. If you've already implemented the first two strategies, right diet and exercise, numbers on the scale may already be dropping. If not, make a concerted effort to lose weight since studies show that you may be able to reduce cholesterol levels significantly by losing 5% to 10% of your body weight. For long-term success with weight loss, the Mayo Clinic suggests making small, sustainable changes. Slowly incorporate physical activity into your daily routine in simple ways, such as brisk walking or doing simple house chores. Bring a healthy lunch from home instead of eating out. It all adds up. All of these can have a big impact on your weight, which could help lower your cholesterol. You should only drink alcohol in moderation. Moderate use of alcohol has been linked with higher levels of HDL cholesterol. A few studies have found that people who drink alcohol in moderation have lower heart disease and might even live longer than those who abstain. Alcohol has also been tied to a lower risk of blood clots and decreased levels of inflammation markers. Too much alcohol can lead to serious health problems, including stroke, high blood pressure, and heart failure. Quit smoking. The most well-documented impact that smoking has on cholesterol is how it lowers levels of high-density lipoprotein, or HDL. Smoking makes all heart health indicators worse. It causes inflammation, not just in your lungs, but throughout your entire body, which can contribute to atherosclerosis, blood clots, and risk of heart attack. If you smoke, stop. Quitting might improve your HDL cholesterol level. Studies have shown that HDL levels often go up soon after a person quits smoking. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.